it's Chanel for the new Chanel. Music Buzz. Hello. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Tell me about your character because I feel like everybody in this series has a little secret underlined. Everyone has a secret and a surprise. I play Louise Herrick, the host of America's number one news show, Louise Herrick Live. I'm a very good girl on the air and I'm very different off the air. <laughs> Amazing. What was it like working with such an incredible cast? It's an incredible gift. I can't believe I get to play this woman with these people. Everybody's very um, joyful and exuberant and dedicated. So it's a great place to come to work. And as an audience watching the show, um, who are you targeting this series to? Well, I think we have all become reporters and investigators. We're at a point, especially in this country, where we watch TV and we say, what's the truth? and how can I get my story told? Everybody's got a camera, everybody's an investigator, everybody's a reporter. So I think that's the hook. I think that's what people can relate to. We want to know the truth. And do you maybe have a secret that you can share with us here? I can't share it, but I have them. Oh. <laughs> you have a beautiful name. Can, how, how exactly do you say it? It's Sepide. And, and what is its origin? It's from Iran. Ah. Yeah, it means Don. Okay. Now tell me about your character. This seems, it's a crime and legal drama. How are you involved? I play a character called Megan Bird. She's a junior producer at Louis Herrick Live. So Julia George is the senior executive producer, and Megan is basically the number two. So while Julia is the boss, Megan pretty much runs everything and uh, she has a little bit of a you know a mysterious past which comes into play and proves to be very useful and sometimes it can complicate things a little bit and being a, a crime and legal drama what attracted you to the script to be involved so many I mean I really where do I begin um, the story itself is very layered and complex the characters are all layered and complex um, I could see a lot of lie. <laughs> You're one big happy family. Yeah, yeah one we happy are. Family. I mean, these two, they're, I can't even begin with them. They've been, that's another part, thing that really attracted me to this world and this story was that they are huge in, you know, in the media and, and as professionals and just having them as mentors to all of us, how available they are. And I mean, as soon as I got the job, I talked to Wendy and Mark and they put me in the control rooms at Good Morning America and at, you know, CNN. And so I was in the trenches with these, you know. So it just the, um, the amount that I'm learning about this world and about the news world and about... Um, you know, all these different cases that all come from their mouths, you know? They're, the writers are working very closely with Wendy and Mark, and, and they're all rooted in truth and tr true life events. So you play Bradley in the TV series. I what do. can you tell me about your character? Well, my character is pretty awesome because he's super loyal, and I love that about people myself. So, you know, I play brothers with Daniel Sanjata, and he plays Jake, I play Bradley, and we inherited our firm from our father. And so we kind of represent sort of, you know, very new notorious people, if you will, and we're doing our best to get them exonerated in the legal system as well as in the court of public opinion, okay. which sometimes these days is more important. Yes. Yeah. I love that you say that your character is loyal and that's important to yes. you. I feel like in general everybody needs to be loyal to one another. Absolutely. Would you say that you could be friends with Bradley? Oh God, yes. Yeah. You know, in theater school they tell you to never judge your character, um, but I'm judging my character and I judge him as a solid dude. That's what I love the most about my character is that He's one of those people who right or wrong really depends on a relationship. So he'll do anything for that guy over there. And I love people like that, whether it's right or wrong to anybody else. But family is the most important thing. And I love people like that. And talking about family, you guys are now an on-set family. Yes, we what are. was it like working with everybody? Fantastic. It's been great. Um, you know, I work a lot with Daniel, obviously, and um, it's just been great because I feel like we're kind of cut from the same cloth. So we just have an amazing time. We usually like warm up by freestyle rapping or like you know doing a rap, a very famous rap, and that's kind of how we get it. Oh, get the well, energy. Can you give popping. me a little bit of a rap here. First things first, I pop a freak saw the honeys, gunnies, Playboy bunnies, those wanting monies. <laughs> The Playboy Bunnies. Are you, oh. are you a fan there? Yes. Oh my God. Oh, I thought you were continuing the rap. Oh, I wish. I wish wow, I, I could. I was so impressed. I well, was we'll so go with impressed. that then, okay? That's amazing. I was continuing your rap. Thank you. But that's the kind of thing we do. Like, before we start a scene, we'll just, like, bust into that. Yeah, yeah. And it's so much fun. And what other hidden talents do you have over here? Me? Yes. 
Man, so many. Like, I mean, there's so many. Okay, you know what my biggest hidden talent is? Is that I always order the best thing on a menu. When I go to a restaurant, I always choose the best thing. And everybody wants your food. All the time. So I usually, I'll try to order two because I know that people are gonna eat mine. I just have an uncanny, it's something about the where, where it's placed on the menu that I know that that's their bomb dish. Uh, you're amazing, yeah. lovely to meet <laughs> you. you. What is your character, what is he like? Uh, I play a uh, tech billionaire, um, who gets himself into some trouble in the uh, in the first episode, um, and he needs the help of his lawyer, uh, who is played by Daniel Sanjata. Um, so I'm the client. I'm the uh, I'm the the show is sort of the media side are covering my story, and the law side are trying to help me get away with it. And how did you prepare for this role? Is is your character based on a real person? Uh, not really. I mean, he's sort of loosely based. Uh, it's sort of the success he has would be someone like Mark Zuckerberg or somebody like that. Um, maybe a little bit more of a playboy than that. He's sort of out there a little bit. Um, and then uh, I, a lot of what we I ended up using was Oscar Pistorius. The ah, Oscar. That's, I'm from South Africa, so I know that well. <laughs> yeah. So he's. Um, He's charming. He's uh, people seem to like him, um, and there's just uh, there's obviously another there's another side to him, and there's uh, so as the show sort of unfolds, you get to see these uh, different um, for, as an invincible human being, somebody who has a lot of power, uh, how they handle that when they're in a situation where they don't really have power anymore, um, and so in spite of uh, Daniel's best effort, sometimes I'm resistant to listening or taking advice or um, so yeah it was uh, it's been a lot of fun it's been really interesting and Kevin tell me your character he sounds like he has several layers did you enjoy playing him is he is he a guy that you'd like to be friends with maybe like to be friends with <laughs> I don't know about friends with I mean he's certainly an interesting guy he's an interesting character study which is why I liked playing him um, because there are so many, fa there, in a lot of ways, you want to, you really want to like him. Um, and he, at the end of the day, I think he's a, a, a decent guy. He, there's, he's just got so many layers of paranoia and anger and um, a lot of things going on that uh, make it difficult for other people to like him. <laughs> okay, now I know a lot about your character and I'm very excited to see him in the series. How would you describe the entire series as a whole? What can we expect? Um, for me, the reason that I like it is I, I'm very interested in the idea that I can have an opinion about something without really having any information about it. And the media is able to sort of coerce you into an opinion about something before you have any facts. And so um, I think the show explores that. Um, I, the same respect, a lot of the shows I like are criminal law shows, whether people get away with things, how they get away with them. Um, so I think it's got all that. It's it's obviously beautiful people on the show. Um, My cameraman said that he was going to wear that today, but unfortunately, it, yeah. it just wasn't the wash. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a little small for him, but um, but it would look great on him nonetheless. And tell me, last thing, you've been in the industry for such a long time now. Yeah. It's so amazing to watch you grow. Thank what else is coming up for you? Oh, uh, I shot a movie at the beginning of this year called Four Seven Eight with um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and. Uh, uh, Scoop McNary, who I who I love. Um, so I think that comes out next year sometime. And then um, I'm do I'm we're still shooting this, so uh, I'm not certain how long this is gonna last for me. Um, and then uh, and then we'll see. Um, yeah, I've just started a family, so I'm I'm busy with that too. So yeah. Hi, I'm Seppi de Moafi. Hey, this is Kevin Ziegers. My name is Jay August Richards, and you have just been buzzed. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye.